Ooh, had to get some ice water because it is getting hot in here. And when I mean hot, I mean some great comics, which I'm going to show you that I got here in the past few days. Um, once again, my name is Ben. I'm from the Age of Print. Uh, and this is going to be, uh, I think, four, four different uh, things I received in the mail, uh, different comic books. Actually, two of them I received when got yesterday at my local comic book shop, Players in Riverside, California. Uh, actually, Merino Valley, California. Uh, I have two that I got yesterday from him, and this one I just love to cover. Um, as I told you before, I don't collect a lot of old, well, newer things. Um, I guess Venom is somewhat old. I got this uh, Venom Annual Number 1 yesterday. Um, looks really cool. I love the cover. Um, I'm not collecting, um, well, I sort of am collecting the Venom um, by Donny Cates right now. Um, trying to get all the variant issues. It's a real pain. But I do love it. I love the story. And I picked this up yesterday. Um, and then I also got this here, the second printing of the last issue of The Walking Dead. And this is the, uh, the second printing. I believe this is going to be the last issue ever. Uh, I was collecting The Walking Dead. It was one of the only current uh, comics that I was collecting, but of course now it is gone. Um, so I'm going to try and fill in all the missing issues. I think I'm missing three. Um, so not too bad, but unfortunately they are the expensive ones. I believe it's number one, number two, and number 19, which is the first uh, appearance of Michonne. So all three of those are going to be uh, well over $100, uh, with one and two being probably three, 400 for number two. Uh, and well, number one is, is way out there. Um, so this one is pretty good. I also have the um, San Diego Comic-Con version, which is the same. Everything is the same except for the uh, the sky being yellow. It is darker, maybe a dark uh, gray or purplish. Looks like nighttime. Really cool issue. I'll, I'll have to show you that one sometime as well. And then this, this one here I got in the mail uh, this week. And it should be, I believe, also a Walking Dead. Let me go ahead and get this one open for you. This taped really well, really well for one comic. This is the, another Walking Dead. I have this one already, but wanted to get a second one um, just because these last issues um, could go up in value. I don't know. I don't know with the uh, show not doing as well if the comics will go down in price or if they will go up in price. Not too sure about that. But this is the uh, the next to the last issue where uh, Rick Grimes. Uh, passes away. And this is the, uh, I think, the second printing. So it just has a picture of him, and then right there it has Rick Grimes, and then uh, 2003 to 2019. Um, 2003, obviously, when the comic book started, and then 2019 when he passed away in the comics. So I have two Walking Deads there. And then this one here I got earlier in the week. Um, I don't collect a lot of newer things, but I saw these online and um, I just loved the artwork. So that's the main reason why I purchased them. Um, I, th I think I saw them somewhere. Uh, somewhere I don't know if it was uh, Comic Tom's website or if it was Jim's Comics. One of those. The artwork was just awesome, so I thought I'd pick up a few 
Um, it's White Widow, and these are all number ones. They're all the second printings. And these, the artwork is just, it's just sick. Look at that. It's got like a metallic um, layer to it. Um, the artwork is, it's just, it's just sick too. And here's another one with like a red metallic background there. And then this last one here um, is just a, like a gold metallic on where it says White Widow right up there. But I just love the artwork on these, so I thought I'd grab them, uh, read the story if I like them. Since it's just starting, uh, I'll grab the other ones too. There's a couple different uh, uh, variants for that one, obviously, and there's one by Ryan, Ryan Kincaid, which thinking of buying and having him sign at Los Angeles Comic Con this year. Maybe get a blank cover and have him do a sketch. Um, not too sure about that because of the pricing, but we'll see. Um, so I picked these up this week, thought I'd let you see them, and um, yeah, the White Widows are just awesome. And then those Walking Deads, of course, are ending. So the only current comic that I'm going to be collecting right now is the Venom, the Donny Cates series. Um, but every issue that comes out, you know, there's like three or four variants. So I'll show those. And then I'm also collecting, um, still collecting Daredevil. I've been working on that for a while. I'll have to show you some of my past issues. Um, and show you, of course, when I get them in new. And that's all for right now as far as comics go. Um, I'm going to be doing another video later uh, on, I got some horror movies in for really good prices. As you can see by the background here. I love movies, and I do mainly collect um, horror movies, but uh, I'll do that in a different video just in case, you know, uh, the person watching this video doesn't like uh, horror movies, so I'll give you the option. So, for right now, I'm going to uh, go ahead and sign off, and I will hopefully talk to you soon this w or later this week and uh, see what's going on and see what I got in the mail. And uh, once again, I'm um, Ben from The Age of Print. And I should have more items on my eBay store coming up this week. Some of the things that I unboxed um, from that Spider-Man booth will be on there because I don't collect them. And then I have some, I'll have i be putting some other things on there as well. So uh, feel free to browse and then uh, subscribe. And I will hopefully talk to you soon. Thank you so much.